because they were leading them, they also had in their hearts the schemes. They reached a time and they started complaining that why have you brought us over here to kill us, kill us with hunger? Are you hearing about the heart, brethren? The heart is the passport that takes you to heaven. They have taken away from slavery. They are taking them to the promised land. But that inner person told them that you still have to complain. Brother, if we are to see heaven, let us purify our hearts. Not purifying our hearts delays our promises and our destinies. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When Moses had gone to bring the Ten Commandments, the children of Israel weren't patient. They made small gods for themselves. Do you see the hearts, brotherly? Let us purify our hearts. Brethren, check yourself. Unholiness is the one that delays our destinies. Brethren, purify your heart, that inner person. Matthew 11, 29. It says that let us carry his cross. That was Jesus saying it. Because his cross is light. And his burden is light. How? Let us carry his cross when we are doing righteousness. Thou we shall see heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew 16, 26. What is it to rip the earth and you feel and you lose your life? What will you give to bring back your life? Your heart. Purify it. There is nothing else you're going to give unless you purify your heart. Galatians 5.7 It says, You used to move upright. Who refused you to obey the truth? Brother, when we're just saved, you had that fire. And you used to do well. Who hindered you from doing the truth? Galatians 5, 7. Brother, in the seasons that we are in, people love everything for themselves. They don't love each other. Hatred. Jealousy. When a person gets a problem, born again, you're so happy. How is your heart? Ask your inner person, how are you? If you see your friend has encountered a problem, instead of going around, just sit down and talk with your neighbor. You should move in the spirit and don't let the body win. 
When you're led by the Spirit, there will be no curses. But if we're led by the body, we shall be just like Pharaoh, what they did in Soya. You have flies, there will be frogs because of disobedience. Mm. Brother. It will be if we born again, we lose that body, we will get rid of all those bad things. Our passport shall be taking us to heaven. But born again, we have rumor. Something happens in church, you take it elsewhere. You tell someone from outside. The person you've told you're going to hinder that person from coming to church. Brothering, born again, fornication, stealing. You come to the church to pray, but you take someone else's thing. Is that person leading you somewhere, or is that person taking you elsewhere? When we if you love your neighbor. Let us not be like Judas, because we give you give your fellow a hug when you don't mean it. You give your fellow a hug when you don't mean it. Let us have love. Patience. Because even Jesus was humble. Yet he would have glorified himself because he was a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Be wary of your foot when you're stepping in the house of God. Because listen, it's better than a foolish sacrifice. But again, when you come to church, listen to that spiritual thing that you have to take. That for the inner person. You will be better than this one who gives a sacrifice full of rumors. The one who is full of fornication. The person who has come with his sin and born again, if you give all yourself and you listen, you will be better than this one who has brought us foolish sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. He who keeps his lips, listen to him. Amen. 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 Talking too much is not understanding. Because most times when you over talk, you may even One scripture says that even when a foolish keeps quiet, they call him a wise one. But again, whenever you start talking, you'll end up telling lies. 
Let us purify our inner person. Let us put step to go to heaven. Not rumor. Not stealing. Not fornication. Not jealousy. But again, when you see your friend, when he has got something good, and you feel bad, you talk badly about that person. He's your fellow. No gamba muno. You tell your friends. You're minimizing them yet God created us all in his image. Don't glorify anyone because of any Jesus ever glorified don't anyone. Because in the eyes of God, no one is above anyone. He created us all in his image. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. again, what is your inner person saying? You know what's eating you. You know that lepros that's eating you inside. All the fruits they say for the body. Born again, let's change. Jetuli. Hallelujah. I God has said, come and we reason together. You won't remember your sins. What does that mean? Let us repent. You know the leprous that was eating you. If we can't reason with God, he won't remember our sins. But after repenting, forget about it. Because if you keep on repeating it, God says that a wrongdoer will fall seven times. But again, how many times have you backslid? How many times have you backslid? <laughs> <laughs> because God said He won't remember all of you. God will not remember our wrongs. Matthew Tano and Matthew That you should be holy as our Father in heaven is holy. Hallelujah. But again, once we change, our destiny is But whenever your heart is stiff. You keep on crying. Why is God not doing for me? We learn to pray. We learn to worship. We know how to intercede. But we familiar God. You come here and worship. Yet your heart is not even near God. The moment your heart left God and started doing God thing, even God left your inner person already. He left already. You just remain there to pray and to intercede. But your inner person is empty. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This goes to all the ladies, the women. Because this is the women's day. <laughs> women. That there is women emancipation. But we are still women. 